Hello and welcome to this session. And in this session, we are going to talk about one more example of correlated subquery. Now, my requirement is this is my data set. I have various products. What I'm looking for, I want to find the product with the lowest price. Now, this is the price list we have, and the lowest price which we have is this. That means I want this particular product as an output. So in simple term, I want to create a query which will return the cheapest products from the total product table using the correlated subquery. Now, how we can approach towards that? First of all, how correlated subquery works. We already had one example. And let's try to understand the flow of it. The flow is something like, I'll get the data from the output query. So let, let me write a query and then we'll try to understand this. So basically this is my table. Which consists of the same records. So basically this is the records which we have. And the same records are present in this table as well. I'll write one query and let's see whether it will help me to solve the task or not. Let's say I'm interested in product ID. Prod underscore ID. Prod underscore name. Prod underscore list underscore price from products. Let's see whether this query is first of all working fine or not. All right, so this is giving me the entire details, product ID, product name, and the list of the price. Now I'm interested in this particular cost because this is the minimum cost I have from that particular list of products. So here, what I'll do, where, I'll add one more condition, where my prod list price is equal to select minimum prod list price from products. And let's try to execute this and let's see whether we are getting this particular value or not because this is the minimum value I have, right? So I should get this particular record. Let's execute. And you see that, yes, it is coming in. It is giving me $18.99 product, which is nothing but model K3 A22L cordless phone battery. Now, how this query is working? Let's take this query and let me paste it here. Now, what happens is record from the outer query. Now select product ID, product name, product list from products where product list price with some condition. So what will happen? This is my first record. This will participate. It will go as my first record goes to the second step, inner query using record selected from outer query. So then what will happen? It will compare the minimum product list price from the product. The minimum product list price from the product is nothing but this. And what will happen? The first record which I'm getting 899.99 getting compared with 18.99, which is wrong. So it will go to the next step value from inner query to qualify or disqualify the record. So obviously it will disqualify. Goes to the second one. Now here it will go to the second record and this will be the value. So basically what will happen? It will start doing the row level processing. One row at a time, one row at a time, the query will execute. And what will happen? It will give me the output when it will satisfy this criteria of 18.99. So Oracle evaluates this subquery and gives me the output. So if you want to just understand further in detail so what happens is this query which we have created 
will help me to find the minimum price of a product so first i will let's say i'm executing this query so this sub query if i execute independently what will what will it give me it will give me obviously the minimum price which is nothing but 18.99 Secondly, Oracle evaluates the subquery only once. This particular subquery will be evaluated only once. After that, the subquery returns a result set. The outer query makes use of those records. In other words, the outer query depends on the subquery. However, the subquery is isolated and not dependent on the values of the outer query. So unlike the above subquery, which we have this one, a correlated subquery is a subquery that uses value from the outer query. Also, a correlated subquery may be evaluated once for each row selected by the outer query. And because of that, the reason correlated subquery is a bit slower. So I hope this makes sense. So one by one, the record processing will happen. It will compare with the minimum product price and finally it will give me the output. And that is what we are seeing in this query as well. We are getting 18.99. So I hope this makes sense. We'll see you in the next module. We'll, till then, happy analyzing.